Morning, 9 47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm T Speaker 222 with Dogecoin and you. I do have my voice is a little bit out this morning, but I wanted to read this to you. Go over Ethereum this morning. This is gonna be an Ethereum update because the rest of them follow. But this is pretty interesting. So merge ahead. Ethereum's dress rehearsal on a hiccup. Ethereum's Robston testnet is on the brink of pivotal transition to proof of stake but an unwelcome reorg rained on the, mer the merge prep parade last week it's pretty interesting as ethereum continues to lay the groundwork for its hotly anticipated transition to proof of stake and now we're hit a major milestone on tuesday with the launch of the beacon chain on the robston test network the beacon chain is a proof of stake network that runs in parallel with ethereum's proof of work <coughs> mainnet it serves as a sort of practice area for Ethereum's upcoming shift in consensus mechanisms, which will see the two chains merge together to become a single proof of state network, hence the merge. Developers expect the update to cut the network's energy use by 99% and help Ethereum scale. By the most recent estimates from Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin, the much delayed merge is currently slated for sometime in August. <coughs> Robstein Ethereum's longest running proof of work testnet is used by developers looking to experiment with and test new smart contracts. With the launch of proof of stake beacon chain on Ethereum's oldest testnet, the stage is set for the, what Ethereum core developer Tim Biko, Biko is calling the merge's first dress rehearsal. Ethereum's longest lived proof of work testnet is moving to proof of stake. A new beacon chain has been launched today and the merge is expected around June 8th on the network. Node operators, this is the first dress rehearsal. <coughs> within the first, within the next few weeks, Robson will undergo a merge identical to the one that will ultimately take place on Ethereum's main network. It will be followed by additional merge on the Ethereum network test, test nets. Should these tests succeed, they will be the best. Sign yet that the merge is at long last around the corner. A beacon chain hiccup, which is the biggest issue right now. Ethereum finally be in the home stretch of the of its race or jog toward the merge, but a security hiccup last week called a reorg briefly threw the network's preparedness in the question. The incident didn't wind up having any serious consequences for users, but it highlighted the complexities that come from running a network without control, centralized control. Blockchains work by organizing transactions into a series of individual blocks. The blocks are proposed to the network by a distributed community of workers, so-called miners in the case of proof of works networks, or validators in the case of proof of stake networks like the chain or the beacon chain. Mm -mm -mm. If enough workers come to the consensus that a given block is valid, meaning it contains only legitimate transactions, that block is added to the chain and that process repeats. Reorgs occur when, not, when some of the network's validators or miners hold a different view <coughs> on which block was last added to the blockchain. It leads to the situation where the network branches into two parallel chains, each adding new blocks in parallel with others. And then just the end. Ethereum's recent reorg took place on Beacon Chain through users can stake, though users can stake either to become validators on the Beacon Chain. The chain won't process user transactions <clears throat> until it merges with others or Ethereum's main net. For this reason, the incident didn't have a significant impact on the users. We always can happen for a variety of reasons. In this case, some beacon chain validators were using val updated software that enabled them to process blocks faster than some others. Validators that led to some confusion between validators and which blocks had been added to the chain causing a brief split in network. So the Ethereum beacon chain experienced a seven block deep reorg 2.5 hours ago. This shows that the current attestation strategy of nodes should be reconsidered to hopefully result in a more stable chain. Proposals already exist. And now let's get into the Ethereum chart since we talked about all that with Ethereum. So Ethereum is starting a bullish divergence here in the four hour time frame. We've had a nice inverted head and shoulders hit that downtrending support on the descending triangle. And since we did not make the target move down, it looks like we made a V-shaped recovery, which means the targeted move would 
be somewhere up in here, probably around 2443. That's if we break up and complete this bullish divergence. I have no issue saying that we can get up there. Obviously, pay attention to the chart. But right now, we're having a nice view reversal recovery. We haven't completed this uh, bearish divergence. We started to pull back up. So this could be a fake out in the 20-day and the 4-hour time frame. Looks like that's what's actually going to play through. Pay attention to this update because with this update, um, with the blockchain and going to proof of stake, it's going to be a pretty interesting thing. We're going to need to cover this, but this is what we're looking at for the immediate short term. If we were to break down past the 20 day again, you would look for the 1784 support. If it doesn't hold, then you have the targeted move still down to 1480. If this does pull up, we have a targeted move up to 2446. It's a better than flat 500 point gain. So pay attention to that with Ethereum. That is not guaranteed, but that is what it looks like is starting to play out.